Coming up today on Houston Life, we are listening to the hype sounds of 11-year-old DJ Ryan. Find out how he's turning, get it, turning his pandemic hobby into a musical career. Then make ahead and save money. We're sharing four adult lunchbox ideas that are time-saving and nutritious. Plus, supply chain issues continue in 2022, but not for one local business. How they've managed to avoid shortages and deliver made-to-order mattresses in just days. And we are taking you inside the Post Hoke Hotel's brand new wine concept, Stella's Wine Bar, Houston's newest wine destination. Looks like Lauren Kelly's having fun. All that happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Houston Life on this Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Derek Shore here along with Mr. Keith Garvin. Hey, how goes it? Yes, yeah, in for Courtney today. Always love to be here with you, with the Houston Life folks. Love you guys. Well, and this is a more casual version, Keith. I was just telling you <laughs> before the show, it's nice to see you in, in yeah. Paisley. Typically, your tie, I don't know, yeah. is it going to be tied or not? We never quite know. <laughs> or my shoes, are they going to be tied? Yeah. Actually, and I'm, I'm actually wearing boots today. We are getting you know, a little closer to the rodeo, so I'm getting into the season, you know, getting to the feel of it. Well, good, good. I need to bust out my boots. Yeah. So uh, I want to catch up with you in just a minute. I yes. want to hear about your wife and your daughters um, and everything that's been going on because I know it's a big time right now for you. They're about to become empty nesters, yeah. if you can believe that. Clock's ticking. But the last time I saw you was a week ago, last Tuesday, when we started our Houston Habitat for Humanity yeah. home build. This is, of course, KPRC2's ninth year yeah. uh, with Habitat as a community partner, and the house is coming along. It is, yeah. It's in Northeast Houston, and uh, we just love the family who the house is being built for. And yesterday was day four. We were out there for an update on day four of the build. Yeah, and so uh, it's just great to be there, great to be a part of it. You know, it just really makes you feel good to to know and it's also scary in some ways you know that we actually you know put a few nails into someone's home and we hope they, they hold up over the over the years you know but yes yeah, it's, it, it's amazing yeah and, and it's day five today but we were out there yesterday for a day four update and I, I do believe word on the street is that the homes do actually hold up very very well <laughs> okay I was saying <laughs> do don't worry we, okay. we may be putting uh, part of the home together but it is under professional supervision yeah. do not worry also we couldn't do it without so many of oh. our fantastic sponsors there's so much community support. Mm -hmm. Shipley Donuts, they have been part of our community for such a long time and their business has grown because of the community. Uh, let's play some sound from Donna Josephson with Shipley about this build. It's been a part of the Houston community for 85 years and so they've been important to our growth and we've been making life delicious in Houston for a long time and we also want to give back to that community that's made us successful and so we appreciate Houston and that's our way of giving back. I love it. Very, very nice. And of course, these families um, have, have not been given these homes. No. They will pay a mortgage. It's not a handout. I mean, they have to, you know, get their financing together. And it re really is, it's just, it's not a handout. It's a step up for yeah, the families. It, it, and there's true sweat equity. I mean, they're, they're taking part in this build as well. And so it's uh, something that they definitely appreciate. And, you know, it's just been such a, a gift for us to be able to even be a part of it all these years. Yeah. Shout out to our title sponsor, UT Health Houston, Veritex Community. Community Bank, Reliant, and of course, Shipley Donuts. Yes, yeah. Very, very nice. Can't wait to see that house come together. Yeah, I know the family yeah. is really excited. Okay, so Keith, yes. you told me something before the show that blew my mind, and I just <laughs> mentioned it. Uh -oh. You and your wife are going to be empty nesters? Yes, yes. How is this possible? Yeah, well, we, we have four. We started early, but we, we, have, we have four girls, and three of them are, have been out of the house, and we have one last one. She's a senior in high school. And, uh, yeah, so we've, we've been spending uh, the last, you know, few months or so making sure we still like each other. Yeah, because, you know, they get to the point, the kids, you know, all the kids are about to be gone, so you got to make sure you still like each other, you know. Yeah, I mean, your wife could be one of the daughters, <laughs> first of all. I yeah, love these there. matching holiday outfits. Whose idea was that? Yeah, uh, we've been doing it for a few years, and, you know, of course, the, the wife is the driving factor. She's the one who, you know, gives, gives final approval of what we come up with. And yeah, that's that's us and our four girls. And our uh, we have we have one more girl, uh, Kaya, our German Shepherd. She's about to be five years old this year. Yeah. So did you see her in the middle there? No. Yeah, she was in there. Yeah. If you throw the picture German back Shepherd. up, Kaya. Yes. Yeah. We, oh, see, I see. Right. Her. Yeah. Yes. Between. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's oh she's a little gosh. camera shy, but you know, we 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 like Kaya. You're part of the family. You got to be in the picture. Of course, German Shepherds. They're such good dogs. They are. So your youngest daughter, uh, you mentioned she's going to be leaving home, but she's a cheerleader. 
She is, yeah. Yeah, I've been cheering since she was like five. And uh, she, there were, there's a chance, a good chance she's going to cheer when she's in college. But just this past weekend, we went up to Fort Worth. She goes to Seven Lakes High School in KDISD. And her team, they won the 6A Division I state championship two wow. years in a row. And uh, we're just so so proud of them. I mean, you know, just the, at, at all the, the 6A high schools in Texas in Division One, they, you know, they, First place. I mean, they 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 look they look so good. Her team did so well, and so we're really really proud of them. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, our youngest and our oldest, they were both cheerleaders, and the two middle girls, they were dancers. And so you know, I've I'm not only am a girl dad, but I'm a dance dad and a cheer dad as well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, they they've kept us going. Yeah, that is a full time itinerary. <laughs> yeah, if I was a smart man, I would have invested in a cheer gym a long time ago. A long because <laughs> yes. you've been to so many of competitions cheer and uh, yeah, the uniforms. It's uh, they they know how to hook you. They hook you because they they can. Get the, get, get the hooks into the bank account, too. <laughs> I know it's not inexpensive. Hey, so since you've been at so many of these cheer practices, you've got to know at least a cheer or two, right? Um, I know, uh, yeah, we got spirit, yes we do. We, we got, got spirit, spirit, how about you? you? We got more. We got more. <laughs> I know a few. They <laughs> you don't want to do I the arm some. movements with it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we got more. We got more. Yes. Was that, <laughs> did that work for you? <laughs> Listen, in case there's an injury oh, ahead you, of your daughter's you. cheer competition, yes. I think, Keith, you could fill in. I'm, I think you'd be a great addition to the team. I've attempted a backflip or two, and, you know, I've, it's, it's re resulted in a, a torn groin, <laughs> groin but I've, I've done it once or twice. Yeah. No, just joking. No, I haven't. Yeah. It was, no, those, those young ladies and, and, the, and the boys who are on the teams as well, they are just amazing athletes, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it is super. It's a super, true sport. It's a true sport. Yeah. It is a, it's a great workout. Let's talk about being a girl dad because... Yeah. Um, my my brother-in-law, actually, my sister has four girls. Okay, so my like us, yeah. Just like you, my uh -huh. brother-in-law is a dad to four girls. And it's super cool because he takes them skiing. I mean, they do they do everything. I yeah. think a lot of times a dad, you know, mom wants the girls, the dad wants the boys. Yeah. How has it been for you being a girl dad? Not uh, having any boy. You're the only boy in the house. Yeah, uh, I loved every moment of it. I mean, actually, when we uh, got pregnant with our first, uh, I actually wanted a girl. And then the second one, I was like, oh, you know, either one would, you know, boy or girl would be great. Third one, I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have a boy. <laughs> Fourth one, we wanted a boy, but hey, you can't send them back. So, you know, hey, we have four girls. Uh, yeah, we love them to death. It's been so much fun. I mean, I really don't feel like I've ever missed anything not having a boy. You know, they're just, uh, they're they're smart. Uh, they're they're confident. We've raised them. You know, I, I've, I've, we've raised them to, to, to be whatever they want to be you know we haven't said oh because you're a girl you can't do this it's like you know if, if you want to do this or be this then you set your mind to it you're gonna have our support and it's, it's worked out so far you know I mean you know no one no one's perfect no one has a perfect family but uh, you know we're very, very proud of our girls they've they they're they're pretty amazing yeah for sure I well I would second that they are pretty phenomenal Thank you. Huffington <laughs> Post so they put together this article they actually polled um, a bunch of dads like 13 dads mm. and they wanted the perspective of fathers of only daughters Okay. Yeah. Dads, uh, girl dads, essentially. Mm -hmm. This is a really interesting article. I'm going to just read you some of the highlights. So the first thing, one of the dads said, she can probably do anything as good or better than a boy. A lot of cases, yes, yeah. It, it's That's amazing out. how much you can learn from your daughters oh, if you are just willing to sit and listen. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this one. The best part of being a dad to girls is raising them to dismantle the patriarchy. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, this idea that women, uh -huh. you know, are inferior somehow, I think it's cool right. that dads can work against that and as you just said help your daughter understand they can do whatever they want in exactly life. yes yeah yeah we, we don't put any shackles on them don't put any ceilings go for it UBU and we got you what about your advice uh, before we move on like for for other girl dads out there what would you say to them dads who are in the position where maybe you know they wanted a boy didn't quite work out the way they wanted to yeah, I mean, love every minute of it. I mean, your 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 girls obviously are just as as precious as as the boys are. Boys are great too, but you know what they they say is uh, girls do a much better job of taking care of their parents when they get older. So we should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the, the the boy, you know, go, oftentimes you know goes with the girl, and and so they go with that family. But you have your girls that you know oftentimes stick with you and are there to take care of you. So you know, yeah, they're 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 so smart, and you know, uh, because they're females, they communicate way way better than than most males do. And so you have really communicative daughters and you can have great conversations all the time not that you can't with boys but it's just it's just special with girls I'm a little biased I know yeah well and it sounds like you're gonna have a whole army of girls to take care of you <laughs> yes. as you age well Keith it's always so much fun having you here and uh, yeah I, I love that we work 
right next door to each other. Literally, we share a studio wall. We do. We're in Studio B right now. You anchor the news yeah. in Studio A, but uh, somehow we're like two ships passing yeah. in the night. And I love the flowers, but where's the wine? I mean, did I, did I miss the wine again? I mean, that was yesterday. <laughs> oh man. Okay. That well, was okay. yesterday. We got to get me in on a Wednesday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Well, listen. Oh. Still to come on Houston Life. You never know, of course, what could happen, Keith, on live television. Mm -hmm. So one reporter now has gone viral for what she experienced during a live shot. Pretty scary. Yeah, very crazy. Plus, Lauren Kelly taking us inside a brand new wine destination at Tillman Fertitta's Post Oak Hotel in Uptown. Hey, Lauren. Keith, you asked for the wine. I'm sorry that you're not live with me today, but we will be sampling a few ones here at Stella's Wine Bar. We are at the Post Oak Hotel, one of my favorite spots. This Keith is going to be joining us here in just a second at this beautiful new spot. That's when Houston Life returns. Cheers. Okay, by now you've probably seen this video of what happened to one reporter. This happened in West Virginia. Her name is Tori Yorgi. So she was reporting for the NBC station there. It's WSAZ. And she was talking about the icy conditions and a water main break that happened. Which made it even worse, the road. So she didn't have anyone with her to... To tell her, hey, up. there's a car about to hit you. Yeah, and yeah. she said the woman who hit her felt really, really bad about it, as I can imagine one would, <laughs> yeah. after hitting someone. Uh, but it just goes to show, first of all, She's a total pro. But yeah, um, she, she handled yeah, she handled that very, very well. Really well. You have probably you probably have a long <laughs> list of things that have happened to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fun and not so fun. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been on the side of roads in icy conditions as well. But you just try to stay uh, as, as far away from the road as possible. Yeah. But like with, with her, in her situation, you know, she didn't have that photographer. I've always been out there with a photographer. You know, when you're out there together, you're a team. You so watch you have those back. extra Exactly. You watch her back. Exactly, yeah. So, and I, I continued to watch, uh, I watched, the, you know, that clip a little bit longer. And you could tell she she handled it like a pro, but you can tell she had been impacted by it. So, and I think she's okay. But uh, she said it was her her last week or her last day on the air, and she's like, "Yeah, wouldn't you know? My last uh, few moments on air, I get hit by a car." <laughs> and again, you know, as she said it happened to her another time in college. So, which is so wild. Yeah, what the yeah. Of getting hit twice. The car was going pretty slowly, but she got hit pretty hard. It did. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think you didn't hear the engine revving, so I don't. I think the woman had let up off the gas, and but couldn't help with that those icy conditions. It's yeah. so wild. I love how the anchor like pretty much had no reaction <laughs> as well. Okay. But she she was okay though. She is She's okay. okay. Yes, that's good. Good news. Good news. All right, we want to bring in Joe Sam now. We love this part every single day. Our question of the day. Hey, you guys, that's right. But I want to go back to that real quick. It was right on cue, right? Right when he tossed it out to you and was like, hey, tell us what's going on. Mm -hmm. Car comes and hit her. Right on cue. Oh, that's what happens as your live reporter out there on the scene. The timing. Jane get. Of okay. course, you guys, we want to hear from you. What's a workplace mishap that you've experienced? And we already have some great answers. Coming in, let's get to the big board and see what they are saying. Marilyn writes in, sent employee to remove tile floor and replace it with the new floor. Of course, the door was unlocked as we were told it would be, but it was at the wrong address. Oh, <laughs> no. Not pretty at all, she oh. says. Garrett writes in, accidentally putting dish soap in the dishwasher, it turned the whole office into a little phone party. Oh my gosh. Waste I thought time. that only happened in the movie. That sounds like yeah. fun, actually, though. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, look, work party. I'm party. Down for it. <laughs> and Maldina, she writes in, I popped open a can of IPA at my desk, thinking that it was the car. <laughs> Left my home in a rush that morning and grabbed <gasps> the first can I saw in the fridge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some mishaps. That and you for never people who don't know, IPA is a beer. Yes, so yes, yes. Cracked open a can of beer. At Indian work. Pale Ale. Yes. She Oops. was about to get lit at work. <laughs> I love it. Of course, you guys want you to head over to our Houston Live Facebook page. Join that conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. Any mishaps that happened to you guys while here or at another job? What's I had, going on? I had, I had a few. throw up during an interview once. Ooh. Oh, wow. Where I was interviewing her and she suddenly started taking long pauses uh -oh. and she had been feeling kind of hot uh luckily there was a trash can just close by but yeah. it still was just <laughs> we all had to take a little bit of a break to recover from that one how about you guys i, I don't know if it was a mishap uh, certainly uh, an embarrassing situation i had a a uh, guy after a morning uh, party at a college uh he he wanted to be part of the live shot i said you can be be part of the live shot as long as you don't do anything crazy he, i'll be fine and he starts belly dancing in the middle of my live <laughs> shot yeah and he had because it was it was it was halloween so he had a costume and but so he's like yeah 
it was uh, it was interesting. Yes, I would like I, that, that is a mishap. I would say he sounds like a fun guy. <laughs> oh. oh goodness! Another mishap for me was that it's something similar to what happened to her. I was covering the snowstorm out in Columbus, Ohio, trying to walk and explain what's going on. Big slate of ice fell right down. It's like I was just sliding down uh -huh. and kept going, kept going. The photographer tried to grab me. It was not a pretty sight oh, at all. No. We'll have to find that clip for you guys. That, that, ice, is no joke. that ice is no joke. Goodness at all. Yeah. And the show must go on. Mm -hmm. You never know. <laughs> all right, Joe. Thank you. No problem. Well, Tillman Fertitta's Post Oak Hotel recently opened a brand new wine destination. Keith, you're going to love this. Okay. Stella's Wine Bar, complete with access to the hotel's award-winning wine cellar. Yeah, Stella's is the perfect spot to enjoy an extensive list of fabulous wines and light bites. Lauren Kelly giving us a first look inside this afternoon. Keith, I'm sorry that I couldn't invite you here today, but ah. thanks for joining us on Houston Life this afternoon. <laughs> well, I have to tell you guys about Stella's Wine Bar. This place just opened up about two weeks ago, and it is magnificent. Obviously, Tillman Fertitta's Post Oak Hotel right off of the 610 Loop, and we're here today with somebody who really knows a thing or 2,000 about wine. This is Keith Goldston. You are a master sommelier. I have been practicing yep. that word all day. Thank you so much. Uh, you have experience experience beyond uh, you know what we all know about the basics of wine but tell us a little bit about Stella's and the amazing selection of wines that they have here yes uh, thank you Lauren absolutely um, the most important thing to know is everyone's welcome okay good and even you know like yes getting the MS pin or the advanced pin which we have a few of on the property a very big deal, but the most important thing is whether you like wine or not. But here's the trick, Keith. If we don't know what to order, you're going to be here to help us find the right one, right? That or all of our team. I mean, it's amazing. We're one of the few places where anyone who's touching the table is actually a certified sommelier. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah, you have quite the selection. Yeah. Not only the massive wine cellar here at the hotel, but just take a look at these cabinets behind us. I mean, you've got wine bottles after wine bottles. And, Keith, what we kind of said was the champagne closet, yeah. the bubbles box, if you you will. Yeah. You've got really something cold for everybody and we're going to come into it a little bit later on the program. We'll talk a little bit more about these light bites and shareables and the delicious flights of wine for, for if people need yeah. a little bit of a taste of something else. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Does that work? Until then, what are we going to taste? Right now? This is a little Pinot Noir out of Tasmania. All right, out of so. Tasmania. Keith and Derek, I will take a sip for you. Me and this Keith will enjoy and get <laughs> back to you guys a little bit later on in the show. You, you can always bring back a bottle, Lauren. Just saying. Cheers. Or better okay. yet, Keith, <laughs> why don't we pay a visit to the champagne closet ourselves? You got it, yes. Keep it cold okay. for us, Lauren. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, cheers. We'll see you in just a bit. Hey, Keith, so it is 3.20 p.m. Yes. right now. Uh, probably time for you to change your shirt and get ready for the news at 4. I got to go into the, the telephone booth and change, yes. I well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, why I that's why we have that telephone booth Yes, here? yeah, not Clark Kent, Keith Garvin, yes. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, it's always fun hanging yeah, out Yeah, oh, man, you. I love being here with you guys for sure, yeah. Send uh, my best to your wife, Lisa. Oh. And to your daughters, yes. and uh, I'm going to see you many times before oh, the empty net. Is. Yes, yeah. It, it, bring me back on a Wednesday, and we'll have we'll have we'll have even more fun. Okay, I'll stay for the whole hour. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. We will see you in just a bit. All right, man. When we come back, pandemic era shortages are a real thing, but not for everyone. Where you can get a quality mattress in just days that'll cost you less, and it's made right here in Houston. And later, we're learning about the four P's to make your adult lunchbox healthy and delicious. Delicious. It's also going to save you a ton of money. That and more when Houston Life returns. Don't go away. Supply chain issues are a hot topic right now, from new cars to furniture and groceries. It's hard to say when the shortages will end, but one local business has managed to stay afloat due to their quick thinking. President and owner of Texas mattress makers Yuval Meichler shares how you can get your best night's sleep delivered in as little as five to seven days. You have figured out this supply chain issue formula because when COVID was coming, you had the foresight to purchase up a lot of raw materials from local sources. You stored them here in your warehouse. So during the pandemic, you have been able to continue manufacturing and selling mattresses. We have zero issues with supplies. 
We are the manufacturers, we have our supplies. You come into one of our stores, you need a mattress, and then we manufacture it, and within seven days, worst case scenario, from the day you were in a, one of our showrooms, that mattress is gonna be delivered and set up in your home. When people come in, they aren't looking at mattresses that have been plastic wrapped and sitting in a warehouse collecting dust for months. Correct. You are creating mattresses essentially made to order, and because this is the factory, people are going to pay surprisingly less than they would imagine. But there's only one place in the city of Houston that will actually sell you a mattress that you need. Not that I want to sell you, but that you need to sleep comfortably. Secondly, we will give you all the information and show you all the information component-wise that you will want to know about the mattress. Why does this do this and this do that? How long will it last? Why will it last that long? Or why will it not last that long? Eventually, you're going to buy a mattress. I want you to buy it from me because I'm concerned about the way you sleep, your comfort level, because I'm well aware that everything you do in your life, everything you do in your life, whether you realize it or not, starts with a good night's sleep or a bad night's sleep. The way you think, the way you feel, the way you eat, the way you react, the way you work, everything is about a good night's sleep. You have a bad night's sleep, all those things are going to be bad eventually. And if you have a bad night's sleep, the people around you probably know you had a bad night's sleep. Correct. Really. You, you, it, it's You're cranky, right. when you're tired, you don't feel well. Yeah, sleep it, right. or lack of sleep really affects every part of right. your life. If you sleep well, you're going to want to get up in the morning and go exercise. You're going to have a positive attitude because you're not tired, you're refreshed. You're not going to eat junk. Your body is not going to require that sugar, that fat, whatever. You have a bad habit, you continue with the bad habit. But if you sleep well, guess what? It gives you the strength to break the bad habit. New year, new you. You sleep six to eight and a half hours every day in the same mattress, in the same place, every single day. Do you wake up tired? Are you sore in any place in your body? You're sluggish, you're tired, right? You're not sleeping well, you're tossing and turning, you're not sleeping deeply. So I want you to be happy, but you have to understand, to be happy, you have to do something. The first thing you do is you come to Texas Mattress Makers, you tell us what it is that you are not comfortable with. The people that work for Texas Mattress Makers are not sales people. They are people that are trained in the factory about components, comfort, longevity, softness, firmness, and so on and so forth. A lot of people out there might be putting off getting a new mattress. As you mentioned, it's a new year. Now is a great time to do that. You have five locations. People can purchase by phone, online, of course, here in person. So come on down and see you all and tell them Derek sent you. Yeah, and I'll smile when you say, and I'll tell you a few stories about it. Okay, that's dangerous. No, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, Yuval, maybe I'm going to tell a few stories about you as well, just FYI. Hey, right now, you can take advantage of Texas Mattress Maker's New Year's special. Save up to 30% plus free delivery on select mattresses. Just visit TexasMattressMakers.com or call 713-341-6252. Now, let's check in with Joe Sam, who's highlighting the musical talents of a local 11-year-old. Hey, Joe, we love this. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing, Derek. You can see him right here behind me. Coming up, I'll be introducing you to the 11-year-old that just scratched up a newfound passion. And we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at four, including how you can get Amazon orders even faster. Houston Life is back in just two minutes. Welcome back to the Houston Life. Derek Shore along with Joe Sam now yeah, next to me. Yeah, it's kind of been the guy show today, right? It has yeah. been. We kind of match today, too. We do. The same color. I love it. And it just makes you feel good. Something good. else that makes us feel good are all of the comments that we've been getting on Facebook. They've been absolutely hilarious. We're going to get to those responses right now to our question of the day. Earlier, we asked you, what's a workplace mishap? you've experienced. We have Jody writing in right now. Years ago, got to work, took off my coat, standing there, 
in my slip and slippers. No. <laughs> she forgot to get dressed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jody, that is awesome. Aaron writes in, accidentally charged a customer $32,000 instead of 3,200. Those zeros really make a difference. They yes, definitely they do. They certainly <laughs> do. Oops. And yeah, I'm sure the customer wasn't happy either. Nancy, she writes in, I was <gasps> shredding some documents and my hair got caught in the shredder. No. Whew. Luckily, I was able to reverse it and saved my hair from further damage. <laughs> okay, that could have been really bad, Nancy. I'm glad you That's what happened able... to my hair. That's why I have none. Oh, yeah? Yeah, got, got caught in the shredder. You look good without it. <laughs> you look good without it. Nancy, I'm glad you are okay. Why don't we check in with Keith Rowe and Frank for a look at what's coming up on the news at 4 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm staying away from the shredder, Joe, because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you look great. No maintenance. I, had, I took some time on my hair today. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> you know, I thought about it. Um, I, so twice, I've been here for almost 10 years. Yeah. And uh, two times I have come in, I've been at my desk, I've been, been ready to work, I'm, you know, eating my lunch or whatever, and they're like, uh, someone comes up and says, Keith, um, you're off today. You're not supposed to be here. I'm like, what? And oh I had a, va God. a vacation day, and I, I did all the trouble of coming into work. So I, I would say that's definitely a mishap. What a waste. <laughs> yes. Oh, three hours I could have, you know, done anything. I've got work for you, Keith, to do. I'll, I'll just give him some of mine. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my mishaps. One of my mishaps, one of many, unfortunately. Bro, how about you? I mean, you're out on the field all the time. <laughs> oh, I mean, too many to count. Almost swept away by Astros fans, rightfully so. It was a win. Um, Tokyo got lost on the train. I mean, was anchoring one day, forgot my dress, and so. Oh, list goes on get. and on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least my hair is, you know, it's right here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good to go, not in the shredder, not in the shredder. <laughs> and Frank, we know you have stories. Oh, no, come on, I am perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he is that you are. That you oh, are. Silly things. I forget my jacket now and then, and I'm like, that rarely happens now. But right. I used to, you know, run out of the house and got to go back for a tie or something like that. But no bad. Did nothing. you forget your jacket today? You're just not wearing it. No, I just don't. Oh, okay. Because okay. you know, you guys are so casual and cool. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> We're, not, guess, we're just lazy, Frank. It. Guess what? There was uh, a little bit of sleet reported by the National Weather Service in Webster, which is right there. And the Weather Service is down in League City, so they should know. You can see, um, I, you know, I don't really see it on radar except to say some dark patches of green right there. It's also it's so cold up top that any sleet that would form way up here, the wind could certainly bring it down. But it's not going to be widespread, it doesn't look like. The cold, on the other hand, is definitely widespread. Upper 30s, low and mid 40s, but they feel more like the upper 20s and the low and mid 30s. You can basically take 8 to 10 degrees off of whatever your thermometer is showing because the winds are so strong. That wind chill factor is really there. 25, 18, 17 mile an hour winds, and the gusts are easily to 28, 35, 25. So it's breezy and it's cold and it's gray, and you may see a little bit of sleet. Most of this is not reaching the ground, what you see here on radar. Even the light rain is so light, it's hard to even find it. We'll talk about that uh, coming up at four. But there's some pink, uh, pink here out in Austin County, north of Brenham. So perhaps a little wintry mix, certainly more over the hill country, slides our way as we move into this evening and then into the ocean. Overnight. The models don't really make much of this. If you look at the purple, you'll see spots here and there. So I'm not going to rule it out, but we're not looking for a whole lot of winter weather in terms of precipitation. We're looking for a whole lot of cold the next several days, especially with the wind chill. So that's what we're really going to have to watch overnight tonight, as well as again on Saturday. Our wind chills tonight will be down into the teens and the 20s. That could be dangerous when you're outside. Protect people and pets and plants. There could be perhaps an icy spot on a bridge, and Otexdot is taking care of that. That. Power disruptions are possible. They're not expected. Saturday, 28 with a wind chill of 22. So it gets really cold around here the next couple of nights. And then a slow warming trend. Okay, get those blankets slow. on. Get those yeah. blankets ready. I'll put on my jacket for the four. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to that, Frank. Thank you, sir. Uh, look at now some of the other stories that we are covering this afternoon at four. As Frank mentioned, threat the chance for wintry weather has textile crews out and about treating bridges and elevated roadways just in case things get slick. We'll check their progress all afternoon starting at four o'clock. Plus delays for testing results at one local school district. What's causing the issue and how long some people had to wait for those results? And Amazon, not just for the internet anymore. We will show you where the retail 
giant is opening up a brick and mortar store and what they will be selling there. Sounds intriguing. I, I, this is a place I might spend a lot of time. I spent I spent enough time on Amazon Prime. Did you get your shirt there? I, I didn't know <laughs> my wife pulled this up, it but I beautiful. so so thank you so much. No, but I get a ton of stuff from Amazon Prime like Me too. three times a week at least. After um, closing so many stores, now they're opening one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the the irony. Crazy. That's gonna be me too. I've been buying Amazon like crazy, especially this upcoming year for dog for my dog Ghost. Oh, I've been on there nonstop. So absolutely <laughs> love it. Thank you guys for all of that info. You all got right. it. We'll see you a little bit later. All right, you guys, we're moving on to something else that's really great right now that's happening in the community. This has been a shocking story for me because I love music so much. We're talking about an 11-year-old from Fort Bend County. He used his time wisely during quarantine to scratch up a new passion. He goes by the name of DJ Ryan, and with the help of Revolution's DJ Academy, he's now turning this, Derek, into a further and future career. <laughs> It's something about music that just makes you feel good, and DJ Ryan knows just how to turn up anybody's day. I actually kind of like to listen to music for a very long time. And so I saw Mr. T DJing one day, and I was like, can I do that too? <laughs> And he's been doing it extremely well with the help of his instructor during the pandemic, learning how to balance, control, scratch, and modify his song selections. I can absolutely see him. His first set was incredible. We've been practicing for about a year every single Saturday on Zoom. And it feels great to see him do it in person, finally. I like a lot of types of music. I can't even name them all. But no matter what type of music you're into, DJ Ryan has something for everyone. And when it comes to the scratching, you do it whenever you feel like it. Showing us that music is more about a feeling rather than a skill. Once I get behind the decks, I get this burst of energy. And I really can't compare it to anything except passion and just loving what you do. DJ Ryan fell deeper in love with his craft after his first performance in December at the Blessings Gallery in Montrose, where you may run into some pretty catty characters. But one of the most exciting things about this shop is the community. When Hiram mentioned that he was doing this DJ school and he had a very young student, one of his uh, students that had been practicing and learning during the pandemic and is now ready for his debut performance, uh, we were very open to hosting that. I was pretty nervous at first, but then I, I enjoyed it. And for any kids looking to get into their prospective career early, DJ Ryan says... To follow their passion. And you'll have no regrets, just like his instructor, who was very proud of his young DJ protege. I started when I was 20, and he's starting 10 years earlier. So he's doing great, and it just reminds me of me. And if I could have had that opportunity, I would have loved it, but I'm happy to hand it off to him. Oh yeah, DJ Ryan is working on booking more gigs around the city this year. Now to find out how to connect with him and check him out at his next event, I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. When you're competing with such a young, talented kid, you have to come out the woodworks with something crazy like you saw with the cat mask. I'm not sure what the guy was doing, but he said that it's a connection back to his place, Blessings Gallery. They connect the plants, the music, and all of that incorporating back into harmony of the community. I'm not sure why still he put the mask on. And well, the, the cat thing is a look, but you know, that 11 year old, I always love it when young people discover their passion early on, yeah. and I can't wait to see where his career takes it's him. It's gonna be a big, big deal. I can't wait either, I'm ready for it. Okay, fingers crossed. Coming up on Houston Life, four lunchbox ideas for a healthier meal. We have got protein filled options. There's Mia Sin right there. She's gonna show us how we can satisfy our appetites and save money. Oh, we love to save some money. Houston Life will be right back.
Packing your own lunch at home not only saves you money, but it also saves driving time and allows you to make healthier meal choices. Here with four of her favorite lunchbox ideas, registered dietitian Mia Sin with Nutrition by Mia. It is so nice to see you in person. Hey, I'm excited to be back. We Thank love you. having you, Mia. And today, you are essentially like spelling out the four P's for us. Yes, exactly. These four lunchboxes check our four P's, which is produce, protein, plant-based, and probiotics or prebiotics. What's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics? So probiotics are those beneficial bacteria that support gut health, immunity, and then prebiotics are a type of fiber that help selectively nourish those good bacteria. So together, they're the perfect pair. Okay, and the good gut health means we're not gonna have the rumble and the tumble, right? We're gonna be yes. processing our food in a more efficient, healthy way. Yes, and 70% of our immune system is in our gut as well, so it's really linked to everything. Critical. Okay, and I love that one of the P's is plant-based. Let's talk about about the proteins uh, that you're using because a lot of people say well I want to be sure that I'm getting the proper nutrition how do I do that by eating plant-based you can totally get protein on a plant-based diet and I'm gonna show you how we have chickpeas this really delicious ground beef that tastes like tastes like ground beef but it's entirely plant-based so we can get started with tacos yes tacos okay. okay so I'm actually using butter lettuce for the tortilla in lieu of tortillas and this is really great this is actually locally grown in Houston it's by uh, Clara which is this vertical uh, one of the largest vertical farmers um and they have a bunch of farms around the world. It's and so pretty, the lettuce is so pretty. So and you vibrant. use the lettuce essentially as the taco like cup, right? Yes, okay. exactly. And you can get an H-E-B, Kroger. I'm adding this plant-based ground beef. So this tastes like traditional ground beef, but it has 35% less total unsaturated fat and more protein, uh, 20 grams per serving. And that comes from peas and rice. Um, so that's the Beyond Beef. And then we're going to add our topping, which is uh, red onion and tomato, cilantro, that looks so good. And I love the concept, Mia, of an adult lunchbox because this is something, if you go out to eat or if you order in, you know that day after day, it really starts to add up. Absolutely. And this is going to save you not only time, but money as a well. A ton of money, right? A ton of money when you prepare meals at home. Meals prepared at home are almost always healthier, lower in sodium, lower in total and saturated fat. So just preparing meals at home is a great first Yeah, step. fewer additives for sure. Yeah. And then you're going to do some nut butter and an apple, which is our prebiotic, so that has that good fiber that helps nourish those good bacteria in the gut. So that's Your our first little one. Packs. Okay, yeah. let's move on to the butter lettuce burger box. Yes, okay, so again, butter lettuce, super versatile. Um, you can use it in burgers, tacos, um, you name it. I'm using this plant-based um, Beyond Beef burger patty. Again, simple plant-based ingredients, no cholesterol, antibiotics, hormones or GMOs. I'm going to add some red onion, tomato, um, guacamole, and then our sweet potato fries. Um, I like to use avocado oil to make my fries because it has a high smoke point. Um, so you can use it for high heat cooking. Okay. Um, bake that for about 20 minutes. So your smoke alarms aren't going to go off essentially yes, while essentially. you're cooking. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so add that to your box. And then I'm adding um, these pistachios. You can do any type of nut. That's plant protein. And then this bar, it's made with two ingredients, fruit and probiotics. So fruit, again, has those prebiotics. So you're getting prebiotics and probiotics. They work together to support digestion or immune health. Okay. Um, um, 70 to 100 calories, that's why that's it. Um, and there you have it, there's your burger box. A satisfying snack, but also a filling burger box. Okay, yes. moving on to another box, and uh, these little clever dividers that you have are so great. This is the chickpea tuna-less apple sandwich. So yes. it looks like tuna, but it's chickpeas. It's chickpeas, yes. Yeah. So apples are in season right now. They're These are super crunchy. Um, really sweet, have notes of cinnamon and caramel. And you get these at HEB, they're um, the Autumn Glory Apples by Super Fresh Growers. And then you, once you have your apple rounds, you're going to add your chickpeas to a bowl, some chopped celery, um, some red onion, and then you can do mayo or you can do hummus. Hummus is a good source of plant protein and fiber. Okay. It's gonna just keep it all together. And Mia, did you mash those chickpeas? I mashed the chickpeas, just yes. Just a little bit, right? So it helps all the ingredients bind together. Exactly, so it almost looks like a tuna salad, but entirely plant-based, and you're getting that plant protein and fiber. Well, okay, and what a clever idea. I don't know if you all at home can see this, but the apple slices, essentially you have created like a little tuna sandwich, but instead of 
bread, you have the apples. Yes, exactly. Really very, fun. Very clever. What's the snack on this one? So hummus and veggie. So again, protein and produce. Um, hummus is a good source. You know, it's made with chickpeas, so you're getting that plant protein and fiber. I love all your little organizers as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got about a minute left. What am I making here for this okay, last one? Okay, so this is a cauliflower rice burrito bowl. So you're going to add the cauliflower rice to start. Um, okay. You know, cauliflower is a mild tasting veggie, naturally low in calories, high in fiber, vitamin C. Um, and this is something you just get in the frozen section, yeah? Your grocery yeah, store? Yeah, you can get it in the frozen section or you can make your own at home. Okay. Um, and then you can add uh, some of the ground. So that's plant based ground beef. Okay. It's going to add your protein, again, plant based. The plant based ground beef is incredible. We used it in a tomato sauce recently for spaghetti. No one, your guests, I swear, would never even know it's not beef. I love that. And then love we're going to do. Um, that's some sauteed bell peppers and red onion. Look at that. It smells so good, too, and it's all... Uh, and our butter lettuce, and that's, you know, that's grown in an indoor vertical farm, which is amazing. It's kind of like the way of the future. Um, right. Requires less water input. Um, and then we got your chips right there. Our black bean chips. Okay, and then just a dollop there of guacamole. Exactly. You add. And the finished product should look a little something like this. For snacks, you've got these little sea salt cashews and the apple. Mia, this is fantastic. And I know you are a nationally recognized nutrition uh, expert, health board advisory at Forbes. I mean, you have done so many things. Your your resume is impressive. We love your ideas. Thanks for coming by Houston Absolutely. Life. Absolutely. I'm glad you like them. Now I'm going to eat all of this because I am starving. Yay. I'm starving. <laughs> you can always visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, if you would like to get Mia's recipes for a healthier lunch. Best of all, you save money, too. Thanks yes, again. Absolutely. Great to see you. Thank you. Now, why don't we check back in with Lauren Kelly, who's checking out a brand new spot for happy hour. Lauren, something tells me you feel right at home. Derek, you know I do feel right at home here at Stella's Wine Bar. This place is just beautiful. It's a brand new spot. Tillman Fertitta's Post Oak Hotel just opened. Look at that. It's like they knew I was parched. We're going to get into this wine flight and their delicious charcuterie board when Houston Life returns. Where do I start? Stella's Wine Bar inside of the Post Oak Hotel, which, by the way, you guys know is magnificent. It is Tillman Fertitta's brand new spot. Oh, why, thank you, Sean, you kind sir. How did you know that we were so parched? Keith, you have been chatting with us all afternoon. Yeah. He is a master sommelier. Am I, am I pronouncing it right? Still, I've really been working it. on still it. You have so much experience in wine and bubbles and things that go well with it. We saw Julie bring out this beautiful flight a little while ago, which is something fun that you guys do here. Yeah, absolutely. We've got at least, oh gosh, almost 10 different flights, which are a wonderful way to find what your palate is, find what you like. It's almost customizable, right? So not only with the wine, you can do it with the bubbles. Yeah, but it's more a chance to experience like, wow, I don't want to commit to a full glass or a bottle. Let me try like three different Cabernet Francs. From, Absolutely. You know, or three different whites, three different reds. And it's just a cool way to explore. So when we talk about pairings, there is some delicious food here. The shareables, the light bites. We have the prosciutto, the charcuterie board, which is a great pairing for, I know a lot of my girlfriends love to come out and have yeah. the wine flights with the charcuterie, but we've got the truffle fries as well. And, and something that you mentioned, which is a really great uh, combination with the truffle fries is the champagne. Yeah, it's just one of those absolute magic pairings. I'm going to go ahead while you talk. You know, when you're thinking about food and wine pairing, you want to try to find balance. You want basically the french fries to taste better and they already taste great and then the champagne tastes great but when they go together you get something better. You kind of nailed that the, the nail on the on the top when you said that truffle fries kind of hit that high note right up yeah. here. It gets you right there and then to mix it and to wash it down with champagne yeah. is incredible. Well and everyone freaks out about oh my gosh does it pair? The greatest pairing I've ever had are milk and cookies. Right. So ultimately <laughs> what you're looking for is that synergy like milk and cookies that you remember as a kid, or if you're a lucky adult. <laughs> and just think of champagne and french fries as like milk and cookies for adults. Absolutely. Well, you know what? We'll send Derek and Joe milk and cookies while <laughs> Keith and I enjoy yeah. this lovely Stella's Wine Bar. You guys have to come and check it out. It is just beautiful. And thank you for the lesson. I've got lots more oh. to learn. Maybe I'll bring back some more tips to the studio.
Yeah, Lauren, I've got to say, it is so rude that right. you and Keith are eating in front of us like this. Truffle fries, oh, champagne. I'm so We're so sorry. How We're could you? Bring back some truffle fries. My favorite. Enjoy it okay. extra for us, okay? Right. That was great. Gosh, we will. That looks good. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers, guys. Coming up after the break, a look at what's happening on tomorrow's show, including a new project for a Hollywood funny man. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight, complete with the long list of musical guests. Hey, Kevin. Joe and Derek, tune into E.T. tonight for everything that we know about the Super Bowl halftime show, what Snoop Dogg and Mary J. Blige told us about their performance with Eminem, Dr. Dre, and Kendrick Lamar. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. But, hey, don't go anywhere because Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, we're getting a first look at True Story with Ed and Randall. It is a brand new hybrid, which means it is scripted, it's also unscripted, it's an original comedy series now streaming on Peacock. Sounds exciting. And he was a finalist on American's Got Talent. How you can see Gregory Popovich and all his furry friends during his comedy pet theater that's stopping in Houston this weekend. Okay, sounds good. Well, Joe, it's been fun hanging out. Our thanks to Keith Garvin, who I believe is standing by with Rose. And Aragon in That's Studio right. Yes, back. Yeah, I, I threw my tie on and my shoes were tied. <laughs> yeah. Complete change. You do it all around here, Keith. Oh. All right, good. It was it was fun being over there. Invite me over. Remember, Wednesday is key. If you if you bring me back on a Wednesday, I'll stay for the whole hour. Uh, listen, you're both welcome <laughs> hey, anytime. I'm for that spot too. Bro, you're always welcome, both of you.